you here? Here? Oh, oh well, it's, it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so sure to see you here. You know what must have happened? Do you want to know what must have happened? Oh my god. I think what happened is, okay, I know I work for the place, okay? The thing is, is that I was, you know, I'm also single, and I was just curious, um, what the system would do, and and who it would match me up with. So I entered all of my data and everything, and all my information, and it must have set me up with you. Isn't that just the most? got a vibe, not gonna lie, when I first saw you come in, so, um, yeah, you're totally welcome to, I mean, it's up to you, do you wanna continue, I mean, this is totally perfect, you know, prof I'm a professional, but, um, the system doesn't lie, it's really good at matching people, and I think we should just we're here, I mean, worst thing that could happen is you get some food. Do you want to do that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a seat, darling. I was just looking over at the menu. And I was looking and like, you know, I was just taking a look at all of the things here. And I was just, you know, wondering, oh, are you a vegetarian? your take on vegetarians, vegans, pescatarian. Okay, yeah, good, good. Then you're gonna love this place, you're really gonna love it. <laughs> what are the chances that our system would just match us up? Isn't that just the craziest thing? Stars aligning. I don't know. Do you believe in astrology? I read your profile. I was there. <laughs> oh. Are you ready to order? What's your specialty for today? And very fresh. Could you also bring us an appetizer, please? Do you like french fries? Yeah. Can we have a plate of french fries to split? Um, what would you like to drink? Some water and uh, some soda pop, maybe? Thank you, darling. Okay. okay, well, and I must say you have excellent tastes, too. While we're waiting for our food, um, I actually prepared a list of questions to ask you. Because, you know, um, the system, when we are going through the questions and things, it just kind of gives us a general thing, a general aspect. But I was more so really curious about the soul behind the person, and you know, I carry my work with me, of course I do. So I'm always, you know, pen and paper, ready to take a notes. <laughs> what do you say? Okay, this sounds a little bit like another interview. I'm so sorry, I know. Oh, I'll stop. Oh, just, we can just talk about whatever. How, how was your day? Oh, you want to do it? I mean, 
do you want to do it? Listen, it's a great icebreaker and it's just a fast way to get to know one another. Yeah. I find that within the first 10, 15, 20 minutes of a, of a date, depending on how slow things go or how smoothly and how quickly, um, you generally get a gist of the person's personality and you kind of know if you want to continue talking to them or if you'd rather just, you know, well, it was nice talking to you, see you later. And to expedite the price, the process, okay, I always ask a lot of questions. <laughs> it's just a thing that I do. I'm so sorry, I don't act to it. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask you. Um, so I know you were talking about what you did. Could you explain further what is it that you do exactly and how long have you been doing it? Oh, wow. Oh, that's really nice. Why am I taking notes? I don't know. It's just kind of like a thing I do. <laughs> I know we're not technically, like it's not like a, an interview, but I feel just so much more comfortable when I, when I can review my notes. I, my mind wanders, I can't really recall a lot of information, and I have a really slow learning curve, you know, for this way. So, I, I just tend to review a lot of the, um, of the, um, the notes that I take on dates. Not that I go on a lot of dates. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> hmm. Where are you originally from? Wow, I've never been there. <sighs> Beautiful. It's gorgeous there. Yeah. I've heard it, but it's so gorgeous. Oh my god. Where did you go to school? And you're doing what you're studying for. Okay. So you studied and you, you went into that field, or you changed complete like directions, I'm guessing, yeah. Um, oh, passionate. I like that. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm, where exactly do you live? Do you live in this area? Or are you more of a driver? Just so I know, you know, if we're gonna do like a distance thing, I gotta know up front. So I change my schedules and things. Oh, okay, I can see that. See that? Amazing. Hmm, what do you like to do when you're not working? What is something that you do like? Spare times, lots of hobbies. I, I remember you said something about. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything else? Any other fun activities? Maybe we can do together. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fun question. Are you more of a TV person or do you prefer movies? Do you like series, TV shows, or are you like a one person? Like a one movie type of person, just do one thing. Just one thing. Or you like a casual, like watch it just once in a while. Do you like sitcoms? Mm hmm. Do you like musicals? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember. Um, let's see. So, what sort 
kinds of, what types of in the music because then that's just <laughs> we're not gonna get out long <laughs> oh mm -hmm. oh hmm. I remember mm -hmm. any other band that you've been listening to lately have you discovered something new yeah I remember you saying there before I've got to give you the name of a couple of bands that you might like. Yeah, since we have so much in common, musical taste is very important. You know, yes, I think it's really important. Um, let's see, have you traveled anywhere cool lately? Uh, do you have any upcoming trips that you're planning? Do you like to travel? Do you like going places? So you're more of a homebody, did you say that word? Any interesting travels that you've had? Mm -hmm. Do you like traveling? Do you like going on um, airplanes? Trains? Boats? Scooter? bus. Okay. Alright, good. Good to know. Just in case I plan like a little trip for us. Um, do you like reading? What sorts of books would you say that you prefer? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that sounds fascinating. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Are you a cat person? A dog person? I remember you saying so. Yeah, that's right. I think this is a really interesting question. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've got cats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, I was curious that time. Just, you know, just to make sure. If you could eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Like one thing. It can be, um, like a meal or an ingredient that you would just use all the time. Honestly, I would just have a Thanksgiving meal every single day for the rest of my life. Yeah. Because I think of all the things you can make with Thanksgiving, um, you know, um, ingredients. Yeah, you cut the potatoes, you can you do something with that. Yeah, the corn. Right, yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have any nicknames? Do people call you stuff? Do your friends call you something funny? What's the story behind that? That's so fascinating. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> well, I have to remember that. Hmm. If you won the lottery tomorrow, what's the first thing that you'd buy? First thing that comes to mind. Of course. You're very practical. I like that. Oh. 
second thing you'd fly? Sure, King. Do you have any siblings? Brothers, sisters, step. Oh. Oh. Parents divorced together. Mm. Okay. Mm. I see. If you could be any person for a day, who would it be? Oh, I never thought of that. That's so fascinating. I'm learning so much about you. Hmm. What is your biggest pet peeve? Nail biters. People who talk while they chew. Would you consider living if you didn't have to live here? Would you ever move for somebody? Mm. Let's see. What are some things that are on your bucket list? What are some things you want to do? Like must do things? Maybe we can go together. Hmm? Are you more of a morning morning person or are you more of an evening and nighttime person? Like a night owl? Oh good, perfect. Perfect. Do you ever cook? Are you a good cook? What sorts of things do you cook? Oh, I love cooking. Let's focus on you right now, though. Yeah, you know what? I'll give you the paper next. And then you can ask me all the questions you want. But I'm just so focused on you right now. The whole world just revolves. friends or do you have like a small tight-knit group? Okay, I see. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Do you put your career above everything else? Like you said before. Mm-hmm. you most passionate about? Well, just think, you know, what what drives you? Yeah. Like, if you could get paid to do it and you didn't have to go to work, like to your regular job, what would you be doing? What is that passion about? Like, if someone could pay you to do something for the, if every day and you would just do it for free, you know? Yeah, that's what Never knew that about you, see? Let's see. Mm. Let's see. 
if my friends had a birthday party and they're my friends, right? You don't know them. Are you the sort of person that would split uh, the quest of the gifts, for example, for that person? Or would you expect me just to buy the gifts? Same things with holidays. Like my family is my my issue. Yours, your issue. Or do you like splitting the quest of things and becoming like more of like a union? Mm-hmm. So you're expecting us to split the bill today? These are very important questions now. Yeah. Just saying. Let's see. Do you have a busy weekend coming up? What are you going to be doing this weekend? You really are such a passionate person, so passionate, I can see in your eyes. It's definitely a star sign, though, that always so passionate. How did you get here? How are you planning on getting home? Do you have your own ride? Are you a transit person? Mm-hmm. Public transit. Mm-hmm. Oh, fancy that. Me too, me too. Of course. Yeah, I love walking, for example. For example, after this, what would you be planning on doing if this date goes well? What is something that you plan on doing? Or do you plan on just saying goodbye, hello, see you later, and leaving. Mm, if it's a good date, are you going to plan on giving me your number? Um, or do you want to get something after this? Maybe a dessert somewhere? Fancy. It <laughs> doesn't even have to be fancy. You can go to get some ice creams or something. Wonderful. I just want to know all about you. I'm so sorry. So nosy and just writing things down. So, well, when you go in as many dates as I can find, you start getting a little bit like just a little bit like you want to give up, kind of. I don't know the, the, the correct terminology about you know, it's just like. bear myself the tragedy and I just take more of um, an intellectual approach to these sorts of things, okay? So, I'm really appreciative that you are so cool with this. <laughs> and if you like this date, would you um, like to have another this goes well, you would be okay with there being another? I know it's distorted, but how is the vibe feeling? How are we feeling about this vibe? Do you like this sort of vibe that we're having here? I'm sorry, I'm talking so much. This energy, do you like it? Is it a good So what are we doing after this? Oh, I love the ends. Very romantic, nice walk in the park close by. I like that. Where are they with our fries? This place is very slow, I'm so sorry. So tell me a little bit more about you. Me? 
so used to my job the way that it is that I just always end up focusing so much of my energies from the other person. I think that's one of my faults. I think I wrote that in my profile. I should probably, you know, help myself you pick a stand one day. Self-awareness, okay? But bear with me, okay? <laughs> well, me, I have been doing my job for a really long time, about, I want to say seven or so years, yeah, and um, it's really nice, I, I didn't really picture myself in this sort of job, you know how some things just come up and they just stick with you, yeah, that sort of thing, I actually went to school, um, you know, I was gonna be an actress. Yeah, I really like, I, I love to sing and dance. I wanted to be, you know, the, one of them, like theater kids. Oh, um, yeah, imagine that. <laughs> and then, um, one day my theater coach, he said to me, he said, um, your hooves are clunk, clunk, clunking um, too much on the stage. And it's um, rebounding here, resonating all over the place. We're gonna need for you to uh, put some, like, they were just really woolly socks. Um, it still went bum bum bum, but a little bit softer. And um, he was so, he was just like, I'm sorry, but we gotta get the lead to Miss Toes over there. And she had feet. And so, um, at that point, you know, I just said goodbye to my career. I just flew off. And a little bit depressed after that, yeah. I got my cat. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, um, after that, uh, one of my friends actually suggested that I try, uh, you know, like a telecommunications job. And then one thing led to another, you know, how it goes, like word of mouth, and then it was um, put into this position that I am in now. And I love it, I really do. You know, you stand in there, clicking away on a computer, um, and looking at all of these pictures on the wall of all of the people that have been matched up using this technology, and then oh, all of a sudden your brain starts clicking, and you're like, why not me? And so that's what I did, you know, I just started to put myself out there. Have gone on a few dates. Yeah. Um, yeah. That none of them really have worked out the way that I wanted them so but one day one day I'll just I'll find the one I know I will do you believe in the one the one and only one like a soulmate one you mentioned it yeah but just like the ride or die one Potatoes. Potatoes are my favorite food. I could eat potatoes. Like, you give me a baked potato, mashed potato, fried potato. You give me a raw potato, I'll have it. It's just die. Of course it will. Sweet potato, fried, you know, whatever kind of potato you want to give me baked and, you know, steamed, whatever. I'll eat the potato. Absolutely, yeah. Chips. Where is our french fries? <sighs> They're getting a really bad review, that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm just saying that right now. Do you believe in giving restaurants bad reviews? You're right. They're very busy, yeah. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I won't do that. I was just kidding. Anyway. Tell me a little bit more about them. 